This is a continuation of the last lesson on introduction to arrays. Um, before we get into the for loop, um, I want to show a couple more arrays. So here we create the variable d and we set that to a new array and we put the number 5 in here. So what this is going to do is it's going to create 5 undefined elements inside this array. And we can loop through that to take a look at them. So here we have a for loop. In the for loop, we are um, this is this is how it's structured. It has three segments here. Okay, for i is set to zero, as long as i is less than d dot length. So, so as long as i is less than this array, i plus plus. Okay, this is going to occur after this. Okay, first of all, what does i plus plus mean? i plus plus is the same as it just means sorry it just means i equals i plus 1 okay so it's incrementing um, uh, it's incrementing i each time uh, this this loop goes around okay when we go through a loop that's called iterating through the loop so each time this iterates through the loop after it finishes uh, this command okay we're going to increment i by 1 right so let's take a look at that Okay, and we have five undefined. So we can see, um, first of all, why do we do less than d dot length? Well, let's think about it. This array has five elements in it. Okay, so we want to do it five times for zero, then one, then two, then three, then four. Okay, that's five times. So um, zero, one, two, three, four. Five times, and this is five. The length of this is five. So we only want this to get to four. Once it gets to four, it's already done it five times. Okay, and we see here we have five undefined elements. Uh, we can um, we can loop through one of our other arrays. Simple as this. Okay, and we have uh, five. We have all our things right there. And this is going to update each time. It's going to check. Um, so this one is uh, this one has one two three four. It has four elements in the array. So for i equals zero, i is less than four i plus plus, and it's going to go through this four times zero one two three, okay? Which is just what we want. Um, let's look at something else. Okay, here I've created an array. Okay, e is set to 1 and after that I'm going to do this okay e and then 9 I'm set to 10 okay so what am I doing here um, the first thing I'm doing here is first of all this e is going to be an array why because we put this inside the square brackets so that means e and then bracket 0 bracket okay the first place in the array is going to be set to 1 all right, and after that, I'm going doing e, and then this is the, okay, this is the actually the tenth place. Sorry, this is um, yeah, this is the tenth place in the array, and I'm setting this to ten, okay, because it starts from zero. This is nine. This is the tenth place. Okay, what about all the things in between, and how many elements are in this array? Okay, well we can check that. We update this to e and e here. And we can take a look at it. Okay, so we can see what happened was um, this was set as the first element of array. This number ten was set as the tenth element of the array, and everything in 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 between was an undefined element. Okay, so the length is ten, one here, one here, with eight undefined elements uh, in the middle. Okay. Lastly, what I want to look at. is a multi-dimensional array okay so here we have a multi-dimensional array or a matrix okay and let's look what's inside here okay so there's actually there's three um, there's three elements of this array there's this there's this and there's this this is the first element first element in the array second 
and third, okay? And each of those elements contains another array. The first one is an array of one, two, three, an array of four, five, six, and so on, okay? Now let's loop through that and see what that looks like. So we're gonna change this E to the variable name, which is matrix. Okay, <clears throat> and what we see here is um, here's our break. So one, two, three, break, four, five, six, break, and seven, eight, nine, break. And what it's done is it's flattened this array. Okay, it's flattened this. Um, it went through the first one. It saw what's inside it. It's an array. Flatten this. Put it and output it like that, with uh, with commas separating um, commas separating separating the elements in this array. Okay. Um, but what if we want to what if we want to do more with our array? What if we want to have more control over our loop? Okay, so here we're all we're doing here is we're looping through these these first level elements, this one, this one, and this one. We're not actually we're not looping through the individual elements of the nested array. We're just going through the first one and then it's flattening this. So I want to show you. Um, what a double for loop looks like. Let's take a look at that. Okay, uh, the formatting's a bit messed. Let's fix up the formatting. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so the concept of a double for loop is we are going to we're going to loop through these. Um, the, you know the first three elements of the array and then once we get inside this one okay and then we're gonna loop through each of the ones of the array that's nested inside this first element of the array okay so let's check this out uh, first of all let's see let's see how this outputs okay oh let's um let's comment this one out for now okay <clears throat> Array element zero contains these ones, this contains these, and the last array element contains these ones. Okay. For row is set to zero, row is less than matrix dot length. Okay, matrix dot length. This is th this is three here. Okay, row plus plus. Okay, so we're we're incrementing the uh, the uh, with this um this value each time. Okay, and this is the first thing we're doing, and then right after that, we're we're writing this out. We're writing array element row contains what? Okay, zero, one, two. Okay. Now, once we get once we get into this first one, okay, then we're we're not going on to the next one right away. We have to do something in here. Okay, what do we have to do in here? We once we get to this one, we have to do the next for loop, which is nested inside. Okay. Four call is set to zero. Call is less than matrix row dot length. Okay, so this will be zero to start off with. Matrix zero dot length. Well, what's that length? That length is this, which is also three. Call plus plus. Okay, and then document write out. What are we writing out? So this the first time around is going to be matrix. This is going to be zero, and this is going to be zero. Matrix zero zero. Okay, so we can find that here. This is zero, and this is zero inside there. One, two. Okay, and we get just like that. So um, this might be a little bit hard to understand in the beginning, but just look closely at it, at what's what's going on in it, and um, I'll just try to explain one more time what's happening here. So in this first loop. This first four part, it's coming to here, and then we're um, or writing out this line. Okay. Now before this jumps to the next part, it has to do the things that we told it to here. Okay, which is go through this one, this one, this one. When it's done that, then it can go to this one, and then it has to do this, 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 and then finally the last one, this, this, this. And once it's done all of those, then it can jump out of the loop and go to the end. Okay? Um, I'm sure in the next tutorial we'll talk more about arrays, so I'll see you there.